everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chiara and I run the blog on Instagram, Chiara's Atelier, and this little nook at the internet. Today's video, we're going to talk about skincare. Now, I've done a skincare routine before, so I'll put a link up to it somewhere here. But today I thought I will talk you through my favorite skincare products and body care products. That includes some like facial tools because we like to sculpt a face. So if you like that kind of video, please stick around. And if you are not subscribed, please do. Welcome to this little nook of the internet where we're just a little bit extra and there will be a dog that will be popping around in a bit. So I thought I'm just gonna get comfortable in my over the top pajamas. Do we like it? Do we like it? Feathers. Um, I hope you're all well. Um, and I don't know about you, but makeup has not been the thing that gets me motivated if I'm completely honest. I find it a faff on a normal day. Um, so I've been enjoying kind of not wearing makeup. I'll wear makeup once a week to, or twice a week to get myself feeling human, uh, like today, because we didn't want to scare you. Um, but skincare and body care, you know, we're just rubbing in those extra oils, we're sculpting our faces more. So I thought we will start off with talking about skincare. Because that's what we need before we put any makeup or anything. Um, I was going to include hair, but then I feel like we would be here for a while. So maybe I'll make a quick little video of like my five top hair products. So leave me a comment down below if you'd like to see that. Or give this a thumbs up if you do. So let's begin with the madness. Let's start with cleansers because we've got to clean the face. Now one of my favorite cleansers is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I'm sure you've seen this little tub everywhere. It is amazing. I use this when I've got makeup and things like that on because, you know, it scrubs all of it off and it doesn't strip my face, which is great. I have very sensitive skin. Oh, I forgot to say, I have really sensitive skin that could react to super fragrant things. And we all know Clinique is not fragrant and it's good for sensitive skin. So this is a really good um, cleanser, but I feel like I haven't really been using this because I'm not wearing makeup. Uh, but if on a day like today, I probably would use that. And like if I've got mascara on, like today, I would use the Garnier take, um, micellar water to kind of take the first layer of makeup on and then do that. I really recommend the Garnier one. It's super affordable. It comes in these massive bottles. Um, I even have the dinky one, which is so cute to go traveling with. Um, <laughs> traveling, doesn't that just seem like a distant memory? Um, but yeah, this is a good one. Really, really good cleanser like micellar water but the cleanser that I've been using every day is by Bioderma oh I didn't even know it was Bioderma um and it's like in this little pink bottle and it's a bit of a like a cleansy it's a foaming gel I don't know if I'd say it's super it's not like super foamy and super stripping because when I saw foaming I was like mm, I don't know how I feel about it and there was a girl in the store who was from Bioderma and she was like no no it's really good for sensitive skin um and it's I really like it. I use this one. This is my morning cleanser. Uh, and if I've got very light makeup on, it it does do the trick. I mean, even if I've got a heavy face on, it's quite okay. So um, I really like it. And I mean, it doesn't get rid of all your eye makeup. So you do need the micellar water. A little tip about micellar water. Always wash your face after you use it because micellar water, even though it's water, it's got chemicals in it. So you need to cleanse that face, get rid of the things. After we cleanse, what do we do? I don't use a toner. I'm not a toner girl. I feel like it just kind of like, <sighs> I skin and I feel tight and I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. so I don't use it. I don't enjoy it. Maybe I'm missing out on something. Let me know down below if you think I should be using a toner, but I don't. The thing that I do like to use, this is a bougie product, uh, is the Le Mer Treatment Lotion. So this, what I got as a sample, it's kind of like a thick, kind of watery kind of consistency and then I kind of dab it on my face it's like they say right you you should start with the thinnest um potion let's say that and then work your way up in terms of consistency and your face is like a sponge so once you get it a little bit damp it sucks everything else in this is a very very expensive product so I don't know I got sucked in because I was given a sample and I was obsessed but two other products that you could use and I really like is the Caudalie Grape Water 
spray thing now everyone talks about the codly kind of beauty elixir which i love but i remember once i went into space and care and they were like oh my god have you ever tried this it's a fraction of the price i've got the sticker on it so it says 11 pounds in comparison to that and it does the job it just kind of preps your skin it's a good like surge of moisturizing kind of waterness so i really recommend that i mean when it gets warmer like now i just kind of spray myself with it and you don't feel so guilty because you know it doesn't cost the arm and a leg um but if we're feeling bougie which i love to feel when i do my skincare as you can see we're wearing feathers just, i like to put my feather pajamas on and just spritz myself with this this is the chantecai rose water it says it in french and it looks so much sexier in french but i'm not going to say it in french because you know we don't want to butcher the french language this is just pure rose water it feels decadent it feels lush i mean you can spray it on even on top of makeup Ooh. I feel bougie. Chloe is looking at me like I'm a psychopath. If you don't know who Chloe is, she is my pooch. And she thinks I'm going crazy. She thinks I'm going crazy. Once we've got ourselves moisturized and prepped, what do we do next? Serums. Serum, serum, serum. This is the only serum I use, which is the La Roche-Posay Hyaluronic one with a B5. It comes in this little blue bottle. It is the best moisturizing let's focus best moisturizing serum ever uh i notice if i by any chance like skip this from my routine my face feels it but when you've got this on your face feels plump it feels juicy and that's what we want i'm getting older we need to keep the face juicy plump and youthful i hope it's doing its job but it's, I really, really recommend it. Like, it goes to show you don't need to spend an arm and a leg on skincare because there's some really good stuff. I mean, I've got a mix of like expensive stuff and not so expensive stuff. After we do a serum, another serum I have to recommend is Glossier, the Super Pure, which is a zinc um, kind of base solution, which is really good if you feel like a little breakout is about to appear. I love it. Um, I'm happy that Glossier has now upped its size because before it was like dinky and you just finish it really quickly. Oh, I'm sorry, did you leave? This isn't digging me because she had a bone left near my leg. But yeah, as I was saying, this is a really good thing if you've got like breakouts coming, like around the time of the month, just put it on, it dries up and poof, you feel better. Highly recommend this one. Then let's do SPF. We're going in an order and then we'll do the rest of the stuff because I feel like I'm missing out some things. SPF. Now, I use the Barbara Strum, I love saying that, the Dr. Barbara Strum Sun Drops. I really like this. Um, it comes in a little pipette. It's... She bougie. She is bougie. She is expensive, but I love it because it doesn't give a white cast on my brown face. So I don't look gray after I apply, which is a lovely, lovely little surprise. Um, does the job you we've got to wear spf i mean i know we're not really going outside so it's not like it might not seem like the biggest priority but i sit by my windows or i go outside with the dog to the garden so always spf 50. wait i do have a much more budget friendly one that i love as well which is always in my gym bag gym bag that's a distant memory too which is the la roche posay this little one this is the dinky size isn't it so cute? This is also a really, 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 really good um, SPF. And it's 50 and it's great. It goes my face. And these two don't break me out. So it's a good shout. Now, I'm a la mer girl when it comes to my moisturizer. And now I have got myself up and I've graduated to the moisturizing the thick original cream. This is a new pot so I can show it to you. It's not too grubby. Um... I love it. It's it's an extravagant purchase. Uh, but these tubs last me ages because you literally need a tiny bit. You warm it up in your fingers and you press it into your skin. Uh, the pressing literally pushes the product in. So if you want, I'll do another video um, during this quarantine period. But this is a really good cream. It's amazing. It's worth the hype. There are three other, there are two other types. There's a cooling gel one, which is good for the summer. And there's a slightly lighter one for younger skin. I used to use that, but now I use this and I've graduated, as I said, to the big mama of things. I love this. It's bougie. Do you need it? Not really. But another cream that I love for a moisturizer is the Avene, Avene. 
Avene um, Skin Recovery Cream. If I run out of Le Mer and I don't feel like forking out a small fortune and I want to buy shoes instead of skincare, I will use this. And this is honestly the best thing. I had like a really random like breakout where it was like bumpy skin and I swapped my entire skincare routine to Avene and this saved my skin. Like this was a really, really good buy and a really good discovery. So I highly recommend that. Wait, I forgot my eye cream. Let me get it. We got me eye cream, we got me eye cream. Okay, now I've started to use eye cream because your girl's 30 and it's the La Mer one. Um, it is quite a thick cream and I remember getting it when I was in my early 20s and I did use it and it really started to put like bumps under my eyes. So if you've, if you've got younger skin or super sensitive skin, just be aware because this is a pretty thick, potent thing, but it's a really good one. I use this at night. Um, if I'm feeling particularly dry, I will use it in the day. But this is a good one. Let's talk about my favorite thing, which is oils and lotions and potions. Okay, before I do that, let me show you my favorite thing that was an amazing discovery from last year, which is the Elemis Dynamic Facial Pads. It's basically an exfoliating kind of product, but less scary. Um, these are these little pads like this. And you, they're already like soaked in the product and you just wipe it on your face and it gets rid of the dead skin. So you can use it two to three times a week. And if you're wearing your makeup, you can see a real difference in how your makeup it gets put on your face. Um, and it hasn't broken me out and it's amazing. And Katie Jane Hughes uses it. So who am I to rebut what Katie Jane Hughes says? But it's a really good, really, really good discovery. I love to use a facial oil at night. Um, and I have a plethora. One is the Sarah Chapman Overnight Facial. This stuff smells like spa. Put it on, go to bed, you wake up, you feel rejuvenated, rested, and plump. It's a good one. It's a really good one. Um, another facial oil I love is the Le Mer. What is it called? Is it called the Renewal Oil? It's got this like little bio phase. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, it's a little grubby. But you kind of shake it and you pop, pop it on your face. But what I like about it is you can use this at day, in the daytime as well because it's not super oily. And also, by the way, you can use it at the ends of your hair, uh, put it on your cuticles. So multi-purpose. We like a multi-purpose product. But the La Mer Oil is also really nice, super absorbent, quick to absorb into your skin. It's not like a nighttime thing only. Another facial oil I love to use at night is a new discovery for me, which is the Emerald Oil by Herbivore. I'm sure you've seen this super trendy brand around. It's a good one, you know. It's got hemp seed. It gives you a glow. You feel moisturized. You feel plump. That's what we want from a moisturizing kind of overnight thing. Another day oil. I'm zooming past this so that we don't, we're not here all day. You've got better things to do than maybe watching me talk about skincare. Another daytime oil that I really like is the one by this brand called Colbert. I've this is my second bottle. It's a bit of it's a bit of a pricey one, um, but I remember the girl was like, "If you want to look like a Victoria's Secret model, buy it." Obviously, bought it because we all want to look like that glow. When I don't use this product, I really notice a difference in my face, like. It gives you a glow and you don't need the extra like boosty glowy products to give you color or anything. This is a good one, but it's pricey. So I do. we have to decide whether we want to spend that kind of money. Now let's talk about some body products. These are my favorites. For a, I have really bad psoriasis and I don't have eczema, I have psoriasis. And I'm always looking for something that doesn't affect it, doesn't upset it, doesn't hurt me. And honestly, this by uh, La Roche-Posay one, I mean, let's focus. And look how big it is. It is super thick. It isn't scented. It is such a good purchase. And I love that it's got a pump because that means you are more likely to moisturize, right? Or is that just me? If I have a pumpy kind of moisturizer, I'm more likely to go pumpy, pumpy, pumpy. And it's really good. Um, and obviously, they're matching hand cream because currently my hand is like sandpaper. So if you've got psoriasis, this is a good one. Another thing that's new to me, I haven't been using this a really long time, so I can't really comment. But so far, what I have been 
seeing from it is really good. I've been using this on my like psoriasis patches and on my arms and I love it. It's doing good things. So maybe there's a reason why people are talking about this, but I will use this more and get back to you. Um, another little thing is this lip balm. Don't know how to pronounce this brand, you know, but it's a good, super thick, delicious lip balm. It's good for overnight and throughout the day. Really highly recommend this little lip balm. If we're getting spots, it has to be this little Origins little concoction. I remember I used to use this all the time and then I kind of forgot about it and I was traveling with my best friend and I was starting to get a spot and she's like, oh look, use my Origins thing. I was like, oh my God, I haven't used that in years. And she's like, I bought it because of you. And I was like, oh, there are some old faithfuls and this is an old faithful product. So highly recommend that talking about spots spot stickers i've started using these squish ones and they're really fun to like put on their little flowers and they do the job you know i don't know how well but they do the job they're cute another little new find was this little cuticle oil by the brand french girl Oh my god, I love it. I just keep it by my bed and I kind of put it on my cuticles at night. And it's I've been kind of giving my nails a bit of a break through, through this quarantine period. Do you know, I have nail polish on. It's been kind of refreshing because I normally feel quite naked without it on. But it's been nice for my nails to breathe because I was doing a lot of shellac at one point and gels. And this just gave it a break. But this nail oil, you all need it. It has a little roller ball which makes it really like easy to use. Highly, highly recommend it. Now facial tools I love a facial tool and these are two facial tools I think everyone needs they either look slightly dodgy or murderous this one kind of I'm not gonna do because I got makeup on kind of you do it like this you push it up your face and it kind of sculpts pushes all the toxins to the back oh it's good I use this in the morning and it's just divine to kind of you know relax the muscles around your face just dropped it um I grind my teeth in my sleep, so it's a good massaging tool for my jaw. Um, but another one that I just got is the Nurse Jamie Roller. Revolutionary. Actually, you can see it like sculpting your face. I'm going to use this more and get back to you, but I love it and highly, highly recommend it. Let me get my tool back because I feel like I'll forget about it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this super quick kind of rambly kind of chat about some of my favorite skincare products. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to do a video every week, every week, every day from now on to kind of entertain you or just talk about things, you know, I'm getting bored at home to be honest. So this was just a super quick video about my favorite skincare products and body care products. And maybe you're looking to treat yourself and try something new during this um, um, self-isolation period, whatever we've got left. Um, so I hope you're all well and take care, stay sane and happy rolling. Roly, 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 roly. <laughs> take care, bye.